WWF SmackDown 2 was released 8 months after the original SmackDown game and improved on many features adding create a manager, moves, taunts, and a stable mode. So in this list I'll show you 5 things you never knew about this iconic game. The Hell in a Cell match is one of the most iconic matches of all time. While the N64 games were so fun, they never featured this match type ever. WWF SmackDown 2 introduced this and many other matches such as TLC and the Casket Match. Chokeslamming your opponent through the Hell in a Cell for the first time is one of the most satisfying moments in gaming, and over 18 years later people are still doing it and probably experiencing it for the first time. Early SmackDown games feature many characters who would never return again, one of those characters being the late WWE wrestler China. China was a huge part of the Attitude Era and being able to play as her in SmackDown 2 surely made wrestling fans smile in the early 2000s. However, her career paths and business decisions would ensure that she would never return to a WWE wrestling game ever again. Sometimes when a game comes out, a wrestler will have a contract negotiation fall through, leading to their removal from the game. Something similar happened in SmackDown 2 Just Bring It on the PlayStation. Wrestlers The Big Show and Ken Shamrock, who were originally supposed to be in, were taken out for different reasons. In real life, The Big Show was sent to OVW to become the great wrestler he is today, and Ken Shamrock went back to the Octagon to further cement his MMA legacy. While these wrestlers were not in the game, you can still access them via GameShark. Just like modern WWE games, SmackDown 2 features many cutscenes during the game's massive and immersive season mode. Some of these cutscenes, however, were unused or cut from the game. These cutscenes include members of DX kidnapped during their D-Generation X truck, the announcement of a character starring in a TV show or a commercial, announcement of a character forming a new stable or starting a new tag team, announcement of an engagement or marriage between a superstar and a diva, Commentators acknowledging our wrestler's debut match, an opponent asking for a match stipulation, and finally the player's declaration of the 24-hour rule for the hardcore title. Most of these were found on the PC version of the game hidden away in code. Truly this was another wrestling game ahead of its time, and many of these features would go on to be used in later WWE games. Only 8 months after the release of the first SmackDown game, SmackDown 2 Know Your Role was the highest selling combat sports game on any platform with 3 million copies sold. While that number has surely been topped by now, given the time period that was an amazing number of copies of a video game to be sold. SmackDown 2 is considered one of the best WWE and wrestling games on any system with its deep season mode and creation suite. With the WWE games getting more and more realistic, it's fun to go back to a more simple time and play a game like this that doesn't take itself so seriously.